Hello my friend, I'm not going to make this video too long and I'm not going to waste your time too much because quite frankly I'm a very busy man at the moment and I don't really have too much time to waste. So what I want to do is tell you a quick story about why I decided to change my diet so that I could increase my testosterone levels. And that story basically started about two years ago when I was feeling particularly, I guess, out of energy. I don't know what it was. Something just wasn't right. I was trying to be productive. I was trying to work hard. This was around about the time of where I sort of started this self-improvement journey or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and for some reason, I just couldn't really stay motivated. I couldn't stay focused and my energy levels were just shit. Like I was just, you know, I'd, I'd wake up early and then three hours later, I'd need to have a nap. And even times where I wouldn't wake up early, you know, I'd wake up at like 11 o'clock or midday or something like that. And then I'd do a little bit of work. Maybe I'd go to the gym and instantly, you know, three hours later, four hours later, I was needing to nap. And I thought, what the hell's going on here? Something, you know, am I broken? Something's not right. So what I decided to do was actually take it upon myself to go and get my bloods tested out and... I actually paid for this. I had to do it privately because it's not on the National Health Service. So I paid a pretty decent amount of money. I think so anyway. I think it was about 200 quid or something like that. And I know that sounds outrageous. I think it does anyway. I paid 200 quid because I wanted to get loads of different things checked. You know, I wanted to get my testosterone levels checked. I wanted to get you know, like my bloody, I can't even remember what else there was. There was like about 40 things on this list that they were going to check and the main thing that stood out for me was the testosterone levels so i went to the, the hospital i had a nurse stick a bloody needle in my arm not really a massive fan of that i can't lie just don't really like that and you know that all went smoothly or whatever and eventually about two weeks later i got my results back and when i received my results i must say i was surprised to tell you the least and the main reason for that is because my results came back as normal and you know you could possibly say that's a good thing or you could say it's a bad thing but when I looked into this a little bit more and I was doing my research I realized that yes my results were normal in today's day and age but if I had that exact same result that I had 50 years ago that would have been considered low testosterone levels and that's just the world that we live in nowadays that's just what's happened to the world you know it's become normal for men to have lower testosterone levels and it's become acceptable for this to happen but 50 years ago it wouldn't have been normal it would have been pretty low actually and i just find that so interesting you know how have we come to this stage where where this is just a thing anyway Long story short, I decided I wasn't happy with this. You know, it didn't make sense to me. Why would I be half of what a man could have been 50 years ago? Why would I strive to achieve that? So I started looking into how I could improve my testosterone levels. And there are loads of different things you can do. And, you know, you'll hear them online, you know, sleep more hours, whatever, get quality sleep, go to the gym, all these things. They're definitely fantastic. But what I've noticed that's been the main driving factor to increase my testosterone levels has actually been through the foods that I've been putting into my body because for the last two years I've completely changed the foods that I've been putting into my body and the results have shown for themselves because ever since I've started this whole like dieting kind of thing my testosterone levels have actually doubled but slightly more than doubled which is you know really fucking great in my opinion and you know there's definitely more improvements to be made but absolutely I am so much better off in the position that I'm currently in because you know I don't get tired throughout the day I don't feel the need to nap I'm able to go and smash my workouts you know and I'm hitting pbs I'm constantly in incorporating progressive overload and I'm constantly like gaining in size getting fitter feeling stronger mentally stronger and I put all of this down to the foods that I have been eating. So let me tell you the foods that I've been eating. And I've talked about this on this channel before, but 
As humans, we need to hear things over and over again to actually take action and to, to form our own habits. So I'm going to tell you again, but in short, what it comes down to is stripping away as many processed foods as you possibly can. And you might be thinking, well, what are processed foods? In fact, you might even be thinking that you eat relatively healthy, but the chances are you're not. And let me tell you what the healthy foods are. And these healthy foods are putting it simply the most basic foods that you can be eating. So, you know, you want to be thinking about ingredients at their rawest level. So, for example, what is the rawest type of food you can eat? Well, for example, you've got a steak. That's just raw, right? Obviously, you cook it, but it's a raw ingredient. There's only one ingredient in steak, and it's steak, right? That's one example. Another example could be a carrot. What ingredients are in a carrot? You just have a carrot, mate, like nothing else, right? What about nuts? The only ingredient in nuts is nuts, right? I hope you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Basically, if you're buying pre-made things, which are 90% of the majority of people's diets nowadays, then you're more than likely gonna be eating more than one raw ingredient okay so for example if you went to the supermarket and you purchased you know a bag of chips a bag of frozen chips for example now you might be thinking oh well i'm just eating potatoes here that's the only ingredient but actually you're just not because if you look at the back of the ingredients you'll see how they've added loads of different things to maybe increase the the flavor to maybe make the shelf life longer of this product and all this stuff that you're consuming which you might not even be able to taste you know because to you you're just eating potato you're actually not you're eating so much other bullshit right and these are the things these ingredients over time that you can, that you're consistently consuming are what are just literally destroying men and destroying their hormonal balance like it's actually outrageous and obviously this has an effect on women as well and kids of course but in this video specifically, I want to be talking about men because that's what I've gone through and that's what I've experienced personally. But, you know, this isn't just about potato chips that you buy in, in the supermarket. There are so many other things that we eat on a day-to-day -day basis which are now considered normal, which are just not fucking normal, mate. So just think about it. Next, next, The next day, so, so as in for you, tomorrow, that's what I meant to say. Tomorrow, here's what I'm suggesting you do. Go through every single thing that you normally eat on a day-to-day -day basis and just, just take a look at the ingredients. So if you eat cereal, for example, just take a look at the ingredients on the back of it and just actually think about it for a moment. I guarantee you there'll be something on there that you look at and you think, what the fuck is that? Like, what is that? Where does that come from? Where does that ingredient come from? Because this happens all the goddamn time. And yes, you could say, oh, well, you know, just enjoy life. Why do you need to constantly be obsessed about ingredients and stuff like that? And yes, I do kind of agree with you. But at the same time, when you look at what I've gone through over the last two, two years in terms of my testosterone levels, there's more to this than just being obsessed. Because I'm now in a position where I eat, you know, single ingredients, like I've just mentioned. I'll eat nuts, I'll eat carrots, I'll eat steak, I'll eat, you know, stuff that hasn't been pre-made and it's not an obsession anymore because I'm so used to this that it's just my normal routine. I don't need to think about, you know, obsessing about what calories I eat or what nutrients I eat, blah, 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 blah. It just happens automatically. And that's the stage you want to be getting at because once you're there, you just do it on autopilot, a bit like how you do it now, right? You live on autopilot right now. You just go and help yourself to the snack cupboards and eat like a whole packet of, you know, biscuits or, you know, a whole tub of Pringles or, you know, you'll wake up and you'll have bloody cocoa pops for breakfast and then you'll enjoy that bowl so much. And oh, you're getting in your vitamin C because it says on the box that it's full of vitamins. And then you think, oh, I'll have another bowl of that because it must be good for me because it says so on the box. Well, no, bud, that's, that's just not how it works. Like it just isn't. And you know, I have the experience and the results from my own blood work to actually show for this. I know this is this is facts for me. So I promise you that if you just 
really just experiment with this for yourself for a couple of weeks, you're gonna notice such a massive change in your behaviors and the way that you feel about life. You know, this isn't a gimmick. This is not a fucking gimmick, mate. You have to take this seriously, you know. You are what you eat at the end of the day. And that's a saying that you used to hear a lot when you were a young boy, isn't it? You heard that all the time. But for some reason, it's become socially like unacceptable to say this, hasn't it? You know, people get offended so easily because if you say you are what you eat, it's just considered rude. But it's the truth. What you put into your body is exactly what you give out to the rest of the world. And that's going to be, you know, unpleasantness and unhappiness and depression, you know? Whereas if you're eating goodness constantly, you're going to feel amazing. So let's talk about the food you want to be eating. As I told you, you've got your veg, carrots, you've got your steak, you can have your meats, you can have things like nuts. But just in general, anything that's raw, anything that's being produced from the earth, anything that grows from the ground, grows from trees, that comes from animals, all that kind of stuff is about as natural as you can get. And that's what's going to be increasing your testosterone levels. Because 50 years ago, when men's testosterone levels were high, they weren't eating all this pre-packaged, made bullshit that's just simply been made for convenience and to you know, give money to these big corporations. None of this stuff existed because everybody got their food from, you know, local farms and bakeries and local butchers. Nothing, none of this pre-packaged bullshit. So just consider that, okay? That's what's going to make a massive change for you. And that's how I was able to increase my testosterone levels. Now, if you're still a bit confused and you're still not so sure, then what I've done is actually I've made a diet plan which you can get for free and I'll leave that down in my description below and if you incorporate this with some weightlifting you are going to be able to develop an insane physique and not just one that looks good but also one that feels good because this is something that's completely underlooked in life you have to feel good right so this is what this, this is exactly what this is going to do for you if you have any more questions join my discord and that's that's free and you can ask me any questions you want about this, anything about the gym, anything about nutrition, about testosterone, or whatever it is, I'm there for you, my friend. So get on there and be active. Believe you can, and you're more than halfway there.